What is up guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Football Prodigy channel and in this video I am going to be giving you guys one of my favorite running back starts of the week. This is a guy that you can add if he's still available on your waiver wire. I'm not sure what his ownership percentage is looking like. We'll check that in this video. But if he is available, I would highly, highly recommend adding this guy in your league, especially if you're dealing with injuries, which you probably are with, you know, Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley, Mostert, the list goes on and on. With all those injuries going on, we need some guys to replace these players that got injured. And I think that this guy is a good start, regardless of those injuries. I think he's going to have a very, very good game this week. Um, but before we get into that, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, I think we are ready to reveal who this player is. So this player is not even the starter on his team, but yet he is receiving the workload of a starting running back. And that, my friends, is going to be Josh Kelly, Joshua Kelly of the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, there are a few things to note about Josh Kelly. So week one against the Cincinnati Bengals, they had Austin Eckler, Josh Kelly, and uh, Justin Jackson in the backfield, right? Justin Jackson gets injured, doesn't play week two. Justin Jackson is listed as doubtful for week three against the Carolina Panthers. All right, so as you can see, here's Josh Kelly's workload for week one and week two. He had 12 carries in his first career game to go along with a touchdown. Looks like he had a long run of 26 yards. I was watching that game a little bit as well. He looked very, very good. I also watched um, a little bit of their game against the Kansas City Chiefs. And going into that game, I was a little bit concerned about his workload because I figured that the Chiefs would be winning that game and it would the game script would kind of go against Josh Kelly. Um, Austin Eckler would have to be in there catching dump offs and stuff like that. But the Chiefs actually were in that game. They were pretty much leading, I'm pretty sure, for a large majority of the game. Um, and he got 23 carries for 64 yards, not a great yards per carry, but you love to see that opportunity. That's one of the most important factors when it comes to, you know, starting a player in fantasy, especially at the running back position is you want them to have a lot of opportunity. And you might not think of Josh Kelly as a guy who's going to get a lot of opportunity because you think of Austin Eckler as their running back, but clearly Josh Kelly is getting the ball. And with Justin Jackson, probably not playing week three against the Panthers. I think he's going to have a very good workload in that game. And he also had two targets. He caught both of them for 49 yards in that game. That's just a little bit of a bonus on top of what he offers as a rusher. And I think that, you know, given the game script, I'm um, going into the game against the Carolina Panthers there without Christian McCaffrey. I don't see the Carolina Panthers running away with this game. Again, I could be wrong. You never know, but I think it'll at least be a close game. Um, I actually think the Chargers will probably win, but I think worst case scenario, it's a close game. I think Josh Kelly will have a healthy workload that whole game. And then um, the Chargers also have Justin Herbert starting week three. Tyrod Taylor is missing the game after he had his lung punctured. Very unfortunate uh, incident. He was getting an injection and just got his lung punctured. Very, very freak accident. It's very sad. I'm sorry for Tyrod Taylor uh, that he's missing games because of that, but that's just the way it is. And guys... They are playing the Carolina Panthers, like I've said a few times in this video. And I just want to show you guys what teams have been doing against the Carolina Panthers, um, like the teams that they've been playing against. So week one, they played the Raiders, right? Josh Jacobs, he didn't have a great yards per carry, 3.7. That's all right. But he got in the end zone three times. Um, he also had four catches for 46 yards, as you can see. So I believe he was one of the, he might have been the RB1 week one. If not RB1, he was very, very close. Um, he had an amazing, amazing, amazing week one. Um, and then looking at week two, they play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this is a game where Leonard Fournette, he had himself a very, very big game. I, I remember he broke off a big run or two. He had 12 carries for 103 yards, 8.6 yards per carry, two touchdowns. Ronald Jones himself, he had seven for 23 and a touchdown. Uh, Leonard Fournette, he had four catches, 13 yards. Jones, two for four on the receiving end. So through two weeks of the season, the Panthers are letting running backs get into the end zone. And in the case of Fournette, you know, allowing a lot of big plays. Um, so that's why I think I'm not really scared of this Panthers defense at all, especially in a game where they're not going to have McCaffrey. I don't expect them to get out to a big lead or anything. Um, and with that being said, he is ranked currently... Um, I'm just using fantasy pros. I just looked up running back rankings. This is the first one that came up and it looks like he is ranked currently as the RB 25. 
to me, honestly, I think you should strongly, strongly consider starting him. I, this is a good range for him, but like I would probably start him over Singletary. I, I mean, even like David Johnson. That's it's hard to say to start him over David Johnson, but just given the matchup at Pittsburgh, that's tough. This is definitely the range he should be in. But like I personally, I'd rather start him over. Uh, for net it's, it's a little bit close there but you don't know what the workload's going to be like in tampa bay uh, mark ingram he hasn't been getting crazy good volume singletary i think i'd rather take kelly over him so yeah i i, I have him down as sort of like a rb2 flex play sort of deal so again with these injuries that have occurred um in the nfl uh last week you could definitely probably use this guy and if he is available in your league go pick him up right now before it is too late um, I'm not sure what his ownership percentage is. I'll check in my NFL.com league. It says he's owned in 41.4%. That is not enough. You got to bump that up, guys. Go pick him up in your league if he is available uh, because I think he's going to be decent for the rest of the year. And then this is a great example of having this guy on your team with all these injuries. In this league, I have Christian McCaffrey on IR, first overall pick, and I also traded for Raheem Mostert later on in the year. He is going to miss this week with an injury. So right out of the gate, you know, I could put Chris Carson in as my running back. Um, I'll probably play David Montgomery as my running back. And then, you know, I have Josh Kelly to put in as the flex. I'll probably put Chris Godwin in over Will Fuller. So that yeah, then the question really then becomes, do you play Will Fuller or Josh Kelly? As of now, based on the matchup, uh, Will Fuller, he goosed last week, zero points. I don't even think he had a target. Um, I'm I'm leaning slightly towards Josh Kelly just because of the matchup. As you can see, um, at least in this format, the Panthers are giving up the most fantasy points to running backs. I think this is going to be a great, great, great uh, game for Josh Kelly. Just based on what we've seen uh, from the Chargers so far, they want to give him the ball, and he's had a healthy workload. And I see no reason for them to go away from that game plan. Uh, but we'll see. You never know. Um with a guy like this who's a backup running back, it's really going to come down to his opportunity. So as long as he gets the workload, if he's getting, you know, 10 to 20 plus carries, like I think he'll have a good game. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more fantasy football content and go pick up Josh Kelly.